Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with an OG weapon, the SPX-80. I always want to go back to it. It's my favorite sniper in Modern Warfare 2, and it's a very powerful sniper in Modern Warfare 3. In fact, I think it competes for being among the best of the snipers in Modern Warfare 3. But I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to put a Moore's dot sight on it. And the reason I did that, I tried it before, but there was stuff blocking the view from the Moore's dot sight. You really couldn't see out of it. And I saw in the release notes from Sledgehammer that they fixed that. So I'm going to give it another try and see how the Moore's dot sight SPX-80 does. So let's take a look at the configuration real quick. The key is the Moore's dot sight, obviously. The ADS movement speed, well, we're not going to be moving a lot aimed down sight, but the ADS speed has helped significantly down to 477 milliseconds, which isn't great. It's not the worst. It's not the best. The PVC 890 tax stock, and again, that helps with ADS speed and a bit of the movement speeds. It hurts the recoil, and I don't really care about the recoil that much, except for the horizontal recoil, because even the 78.51 degrees per second vertical recoil, the weapon pretty much centers itself after you shoot it. And speaking of shooting it, let's take a look at the damage. 405, that's huge in the head. Upper torso is a huge huge 240, lower torso is a little better 180, and then upper legs damage, it's not going to be a one-shot kill. But what these high damages for headshot and upper torso say is that if you shoot through cover, you still have a chance, a good chance, of a one-shot kill. The Bruin links grip. That hurts the ADS movement speed, but look at the flinch resistance, 49% better than out of the box. So yeah, I'm going to put that one on there for the flinch resistance. I didn't get a significant aim down sight improvement with the Schlager Mach grip, 3%, nothing right home about. So I went ahead with the flinch resistance. This is a must have, it's the bolt. Rate of fire increases 23%, rechamber is down 11%, and it's not a fast rechamber speed. It's 1.3, almost 1.4 seconds. And finally, the 18 and a half inch Bryson factory barrel helps with the ADS speed, hurts the effective damage range a little bit, but it still is way out there for the maps I'm going to be playing on, and even for larger maps. Hurts the accuracy in terms of hit fire spread min and max, but if I I'm hip firing, I'm in trouble. War's going bad for me. So I'm going to compare this weapon as we start shooting to the XRK Stalker, which I think is the best sniper in the game, and see how they compare with each other. But in order to do that, we need to get on the field of honor. So let's take the SPX-80, the OG big gun, onto the field of honor and see how it does for Grandpa, what it did to the enemy. All right, let's get on this. First, let's take a look at comparing the SPX-80 to the Stalker. And you can see that bullet velocity is a significant win for the SPX-80. And it makes sense because the SPX-80 has longer ranges, as we'll find out. Also, damage. Damage is huge advantage for the SPX-80. And that helps if you're shooting through cover, of course. Otherwise, they're all one-shot kills down to the lower torso upper legs the xrk has a slight advantage but when you look at damage per second and that's not really a great thing uh, to look at with a sniper the spx 80 wins as far as ranges like i said the spx 80 significantly better recoil horizontal recoil is the only thing i worry about with snipers and the spx 80 wins on that one too Vertical recoil uh, comes back down, so I don't really worry that much. You can see right there the vertical recoil recentered itself after the shot. And then finally, performance. That's where the XRK stalkers the winner, and in short maps, it makes a difference. Aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. The stalker is significantly better. They give and take everywhere else. Nothing really to distinguish them. But the aim down sight and the sprint to fire speed is significant. And in my opinion, it's what frankly makes the XRK Stalker the best short range sniper in Modern Warfare 3.
Now, I know that there are some Moors fans out there, and okay, you know, Moors is a great sniper. Probably, in my opinion, the second best sniper in the game. But I will take either of these two over the Moors any day. So in the first game, it's one of the reasons I don't like playing 6v6, and that is I have very little control over what my teammates do. In fact, very little equals zero. Grandpa's pixel explode there. Uh, it's one of our guys up top. So it's difficult to gather tags when you're up top. <laughs> We're both laying down looking at each other. Surprise! So the SPX-80, it feels like a powerful weapon in your hands, and you know that you're going to one-shot Gackham. There were very few hit markers. I played, I think, six or seven games, and I probably got two hit markers, and that was because I was probably shooting through cover to get them, and I was not hitting upper torso to the board. Grandpa's getting a bit frustrated here. We continue to get further and further behind. Sometimes you gotta say, I love you with a Renetti. <laughs> and that guy jumps out and gacks Grandpa. The Moors dot sight. It really opens up this weapon to see what's going on around you. I don't like traditional sniper scopes unless I'm on a large map. And even then I'm not in love with them. I like the Moore's dot side. I can get long shots with it. And what I like is that you can see around it. You can see the entire battlefield, what's going on. The guy jumped down, he's coming after Grandpa. So it's that guy. Little drop shotter there, pull out the Renetti. Get three and get gacked. So as far as this compared to the Stalker, to me it's almost a toss-up. The Stalker I think might be my favorite sniper. This is the sniper, the SPX-80 is in my opinion the most fun sniper to use because of the power that you feel coming off of it. And it's very accurate sometimes. Nah, we lose. We lose. 33 Gax, 23 confirmed. So even with a sniper, Grandpa's trying to win, and we were only Gax 20 times. So the SPX did a good job. Let's try it again, and we just happened to get Rust again on the No Streak Rust Mint map. There's somebody who's already on fire. He's Elvis. So Grandpa doesn't like 6v6 because, like he said, he can't control the teammates, which I don't would never want to control them. I would just want them to be objective-based. If you get six players that are objective-based, you will win every time. And I thought I had a proximity mine, but I'm glad I have the thermite. Whoa. As you can see, all around the, the Moore's dot site. When I say it's the site's more accurate, sometimes it, you can put the dot right on people with other sites, even with even with some of the scopes, and you pull the trigger and nothing happens. I mean, the weapon fires, but the enemy is just standing there as if it's a good day for them when it should be a bad day. I didn't find that with the Moore's dot site. Maybe one or two times out of probably 150 kills. Look at there, put the sight on his head and it is exact. Did I get just a flat out miss where I dropped my jaw and acted sophomore? I don't know what's happening there. I'm gonna throw out some thermites in case those guys with the shields, the iron backs are after me. I don't understand why somebody feels they need an iron back to play COD, but you know what? It's part of the meta. We are actually winning this one. So Grandpa is willing to trade a life for a tag. Preferably two. There's an iron back. Didn't want to give up my position, but now I will. 
and run towards the tag. I ended up getting them. There's another iron back. I think there were two in this in this game. There they both are. Got one of them. There's the other one. I didn't get him. Whoa, there's a miss. There's a well, it's not a headshot, but it's definitely upper torso. So we're starting to build a lead here. And just like in free for all, when grandpa has a lead, he's relentless. The most important statistic to me, no, that was an easy miss. Stuck him with a thermite because I knew I was dead. It's coming after me with a knife. The most important statistic to me is the win loss percentage. And mine always hovers about 1.2 because I do play a lot of 6v6. When I need to get it higher, more important to me than KD, I'll play free for all because that's usually an easy win for me. So let me know in the comments what you feel about the SPX80 if you've tried the Moore's dot site with it. I, I de definitely recommend it. There's Ironback. You can see it perform well for me. So despite my lack of sniping skills, please like and subscribe. Helps me and the family. Peace to you and cheers.
Synchronized. We failed. 